movie people, welcome to the channel. This is Blue Dragon Art. I am self-proclaimed Blue Dragon, I say giggling. <laughs> and this week I wanted to do a quote-unquote mid-year check-in to see if I've been achieving the goals that I set out back in January of 2023. I'm going to try to keep this quick because I'm in a hurry, but also it's just a recap of a previous video and I don't want to detain y'all for very long. I actually use this to reference towards the end of the year to make sure that I try to get as much as I humanly can get done completed. That's why I like to upload these onto the channel, but it also acts as kind of a reminder if any of you out there have been kind of following along and doing the same thing, making your own annual resolutions and goals for the year, then I hope that this acts as like a reminder or maybe like a little bit of an inspiration or even like something for you to be able to reflect on if you decide you want to check your own list and see what's going on, reflect on and, you know, really feel motivated and feel good about what you've gotten done this year. And if you haven't gotten a lot done this year, that's fine. I haven't gotten a ton done, but like, it's kind of cool to see what things I have gotten completed, which is not a lot compared to how long my list was. As a quick recap, I have four categories that I like to go over. My Dark Horse Goals, which is my free Not Safe for Work webcomic. It's post-apocalyptic magical girl fantasy. The links for that are down in the description. I have goals for that. I have community goals because I want to be interactive in the community. I want to make connections, meaningful connections with other human beings. So I've got community goals. I have personal art goals, some of the things that I want to improve on throughout the year and continue building upon. So it's not just an annual thing that um, I'm doing with like the art goals. And then finally, I have YouTube and BitChute goals. My Dark Horse goals were to one, finish scripting Dark Horse, edit and copyright X4 and 5, finish the revamp, which is what I'm working on right now, time warp, advertise on a regular basis, do a Dark Horse fashion zine, work on Dark Horse one-shots, script the prelude to the series to make things a little clearer for people reading, and build a one to two year buffer. Of those goals, what have I achieved? Well, I've been advertising. I'm very close to completing the revamp. I at the time of recording, we'll have nearly completed On the Beach for the Summer in Aradia zine that's coming out in early August. I might be doing a one-shot for a Walk in the Woods Comic Fury zine, which is our safe for work comic coming up. I don't know yet. I don't need to talk about projects that I might be working on, though. So, I've only gotten a couple things complete or near complete on my list, and that's okay, because I'm getting something done. We're gonna move on to the community goals. What I've got on my list to do is to promote indie comics, to do two to three community projects, be active in forums and discords, update Comic Fury Zine website, complete some more tutorials, CFZ promotion, and giving constructive criticism to people who request it. Of these goals, I have done quite a few projects, uh, Summer in Aradia, uh, Comic Fury Zine, uh, we've got the first issue out and we've already started, we've already started building hype for the fall zine. I did a crossover with I Love You Len Peckett, you guys can check out that video and check out the comic by Studio Evergreen Art. I've done some indie webcomic promotions, Black Wings, uh, I talked about some indie Magical Girl comics that are online, I love you Lynn Peckett. I've been relatively active in some of the Discord and a bit on the forums, a little bit on top of uh, Comic Fury and some personal Discords that have other artists and comicers in it. I've also been completing CFZ promotion on my social media with like videos, Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever the fuck they want to call it now. I don't care. It's stupid. Even on Facebook, I've given a tiny bit of constructive criticism, but that's not a lot. Not a lot. And to be honest, it might be the wrong year for that because I've been kind of insanely busy. Art goals that I had listed for myself, improve inking and pacing, backgrounds and composition, continued education practicing, and pacing. Pacing's on there twice because pacing is not a strong suit of mine. Of these art goals, I think my inking has been fine. I think I've been doing pretty good. I try to keep up with like varied techniques and work on my line width and you know just, just improving. It's been a lot easier for me, I think, during the cleanup time, during the cleanup section of my work. 
Uh, aside from like the graphite that I was talking about last week, like the actual proportions and stuff for the most part have looked pretty good, as well as like my line width and not like making too big of a mess these days. So yeah, I think I've been improving on that. Backgrounds have definitely improved a bit. I can still work on those. Compositions improved a little bit. That's ongoing forever and ever. Always need to work on that. Pacing, I don't know, because I haven't really been doing much new writing, but I have been trying to fix some pacing issues in the revamp. YouTube and BitChute goals. Don't miss any Wednesday videos. Improve my editing styles on my videos. Have energy in my voice. Don't, don't drag off, don't lag off. Make a YouTube intro video. Plan your Wednesday videos. Update your YouTube banner. Of these, the only thing that I've really completed, okay, so far I haven't missed any Wednesday videos, knock on wood. That's pretty good. I'm trying to bring energy, although I was sick one week, so I, I you know, went well for, for a couple weeks. It took me a while to kind of bounce back. But for the most part, I feel like there's a lot more energy in my voice than there has been sometimes. Editing, I guess, is okay. Depends on how much time I spend on a video. The ones that I actually spend time on look not too bad. Plan every Wednesday video. I've mostly been having like a loose plan of what videos I want to do, and that has been working out for me fine because I haven't been running out of ideas. So I think I'm good on that, even if it's not like a full year that's planned. I have like a month or I have like ideas written for the month, and if I gotta push something back or move it around, that's fine. I like having like a flexible schedule. I haven't done my intro video yet. I don't know if that's gonna get done this year. Update your YouTube banner. I have done that. So yeah, I'm not gonna like belabor this again. It's more of a recap and kind of touching base with what I've gotten done and what I haven't. And hopefully it inspires you to double check your New Year's resolutions and just kind of get an idea of where you're at. Don't stress if you haven't gotten a ton of shit done because life is busy. But if there are goals that you really desperately want to get completed, this can act as a reminder to double check those and see where you're at with your projects. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave. I got stuff to do, as do you. Peace and love. Fare you well. And keep on drugging.